Are you dealing with hormonal weight gain and can't figure out how to get past it? Trust me, been there, dealt with that for the better part of probably 10 years if I'm being honest with you. But guess what? Since June 1st, this girl right here has lost 24 inches off of this body, not all in one place, if I'm being honest with you, 24 inches and 18 pounds. And I'm gonna tell you how and why I did it with the help of my functional medicine doctor. So let's get started. I'm gonna help you get past your hormonal weight gain problems. Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, keto convert. Yes, keto convert. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've had some serious weight loss success recently, losing 24 plus inches off of my body. In fact, I'm gonna be taking my measurements tomorrow again, so it might be even more, lost 18 pounds. So 24 inches, 18 pounds after going keto. And that's a big part of what's really helped me uh, conquer my hormone problems. And it's been such a game changer in my life that I'm becoming a certified keto coach so that I can help more women who are experiencing all of the hormonal imbalance challenges and the weight loss challenges that they present lose weight and understand how to do it best. Um, so tune in, let's get started. Let's talk about how to get past hormonal weight gain problems. Let's roll. Before we get started, you know the drill. Make sure you're subscribed. And also, if you haven't done so yet, hit that cute little bell button so that you're notified every single time I put out a new video. You know that you wanna be notified every time I'm throwing down fresh hot stuff. Come on now. Okay, everybody, let's dive in. Now, I am at the end of this video. I'm gonna make sure that I link up to some of my older and most viewed videos on this channel. Um, when I was previously publishing uh, videos on here quite regularly, um, one of my most viewed videos was, gosh, when I first went on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment years ago. Um, and <laughs> that speaks volumes to me because it shows how many people, how many women mostly, but also men are out there searching on this topic. And again that illustrates as well how little mainstream information there is on this topic because sadly even as of today 2021 this is not something that your primary care doctor is educated on this is not something that your OBGYN is typically going to be educated on or informed on or trained on this is not something that most endocrinologists are going to be up to speed on. Uh, this is something that you typically are going to have to see a functional medicine doctor on, somebody who has taken the time and invested their own money to become educated on um, in functional medicine, in integrative medicine. It's a completely different area of expertise. And you know, as a consumer, as a, as a patient, you need to be first aware of even this whole idea that you have to go to a specialist like this. Now, how did I find out about that? Uh, for me, this all started way back in 2007 is when my body first started changing. And you know, that, let's just start right there. When do our bodies start changing? That's something that's an important thing for all of us to know with, with what's going on in, in, I don't want to say society because it's not just society, it's just our world. Women are having their hormones start to change at younger and younger ages. So it's not even really that we can say that hormones are typically starting to change. For me, I think they happened at a very typical age, which was right around 40. It was right when I was going through my divorce. Um, but we're seeing more and more women experience hormonal imbalance. Um, it's not necessarily that they're going through perimenopause and then menopause and so on, but their serious hormonal imbalance issues that they have to get fixed in their 20s. This is very, very common now. 
I can think of several close friends of mine who have had to go through major, major hormonal uh, overhauls with doctors and they're at 25. So this is very, very common, um, particularly when you consider how doctors Planned Parenthood, OBGYNs are prescribing, dermatologists are prescribing the pill like it's going out of style. Um, that is affecting, you know, hormones. I mean, there's just, there's so many things and these are all topics that I'm going to cover on very specific videos coming up. So let me take a step back and say that what I want to do in, to, in, in today's video is... Many of you are gonna laugh with what I'm about to say. I, I wanna be as, I wanna make this more of like an overview video and give you a big picture of, you know, my history, the, the mess that my hormones were in, um, how bad my, my hormones were jacked up, um, the treat, you know, how I went to go see a doctor, how I got put on hormones, um, and then yet, even, even though I went on treatment, how I was still stuck for so many years and really a summary of, of what that, what being stuck meant for me and, and what I, what I mean by when I say, like I said at the beginning of this video, have been stuck for the better part of 10 years. And then I'm going to tell you, um, what it is that's like burst through the bubble. What am I doing right now with my, my new functional medicine doctor? that has made this massive transformation that is not just um, some crazy um, extreme diet because, you know, sure, any doctor could have said, well, let's put Kelly on some extreme diet and she'll lose a bunch of weight. And I mean, my doctor actually said that to me when I first hired her. She said, look, I can put you on some extreme diet. I can put you on the HCG diet. I can put you on a liquid diet. I can put you on OptiFast. You lose a bunch of weight, but you'll just gain it all back. Like, that's not the point. We want to heal you and fix the problems underneath the hood here and get your body ready so that it can actually lose weight permanently again. Like, like let's fix what's broken. Get your body ready to lose weight and then lose weight the right way. And that's exactly what we're doing. But she also taught me that what I'm doing, which is probably maybe a softer version of keto, if you will, this, this low carb keto ish, um, approach to eating keto combined with fasting and exogenous ketones, all these things put together are really what is essentially the missing link for women aged 40 plus who have hormonal imbalance and metabolic damage. In other words, like if you're a woman age 40 plus like me, who has not been able to lose weight, who has metabolic damage, who has just kind of been stuck, let me just tell you what I'm doing. If you're, if you don't try it, in my opinion, you are out of your mind. Like if you, if you feel like I did, that you, will, you would do anything to get your body back. You would do anything to lose weight. You, you would do anything to feel good in your body again, to be able to wear a bikini again, to be able to wear your jeans, to just, I remember saying to myself, like, I'd do anything to just be able to put on a pair of shorts and a top and just, just go out and not feel like I was, I had to be embarrassed about myself in a tank top and a pair of shorts. I was just uncomfortable in everything I wore. You know, my bra being tight and, and bra fat in the back and, you know, every part of my body, I was fidgeting all the time because there's just extra fat everywhere and, and, and it was just awful. For, for so many years, I just felt like I was walking around in somebody else's body. If that's you, you should know that what I've done since June 1st, again, this, this keto approach with... Um, fasting, um, and, uh, exogenous ketones, it is life-changing. And furthermore, you know, I'm not going to get into the details of this. Again, I will do other videos coming up. You meant, that's why you want to make sure you're subscribed if this interests you at all. I will be doing detailed videos on all of this. Um, so we won't get into the details of, of this today, but 
if this interests you at all, you should know you need to be looking into this because it is life changing. It is absolutely because, oh, that's what I was about to say. Those of you, if you're listening and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to do keto. That was me. If you're listening to this and going, oh, I want to, but I could never go keto. I also thought the same thing. I also thought keto would be too hard, too restrictive. It's too much of a fad diet, all of those things. And every woman I've ever talked to says that she can't do keto. She could, she could never give up bread. She could never do all the things. It has been the easiest, most, more so much more sustainable than I ever thought. I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I don't ever, I don't say to myself like, oh my God, I can only do this for one more month and then I've got to get off of it. I, I don't tell myself like, how much longer do I have to do this? And then I've got to go back to real life. Like, I just say, this is, this is my life now. This is my life. And I'm so happy. I feel so much better. I'm in clothes I've never worn for like eight years. I walk into Nordstrom. I just can't wait to try on clothes. I mean, it's the best feeling ever. So let me get back. Let me make my points. Let me close up. And then again, make sure you're tuned in. Subscribe because for those of you that are tuned into this channel, that have watched some of my other videos, that are looking for answers, I'm telling you, this is potentially your dream come true because it's been a dream come true for me. It has changed my entire life. I mean, my own husband will walk in the door half the time now, and he should be used to this by now, but he will walk, he will, he'll be like at the other end of the kitchen and just do a double take and go, you, you are like transformed. He, he's like, your whole body has been transformed. And this has just been, again, from June 1st to now. So I'm recording this video on, what's today's date? Today is, I never know what day it is. Uh, of course, the 14th, October 14th. In that little amount of time from June 1st to October 14th, I have made more of a transformation than I have in the past 10 years. Okay, so let me summarize. Um, my body started changing in when I was going through my divorce in 2007. Um, that's when I first started breaking out my last video I talked about. I will link up to this down here in the comments below. I talked about uh, adult onset acne. I specifically talked about how I broke out in, in rock hard bumps on my neck and my chest um, and my uh, uh, arms. That was the first real symptom that I had. I didn't realize that that was my hormones starting to get jacked. Um, then I started to gain weight, most specifically around my middle. Uh, my boobs got bigger, uh, really tender and sore. Um, uh, you know, and then I had problems sleeping. I did not associate all of this with hormone changes. This is what a lot of women do. They just think I'm not working out hard enough. I'm not training hard enough. So they typically will diet more. They will add more cardio. They will work out harder. All of those things make your hormones worse because you're jacking up your cortisol. You're pushing your adrenals too hard. So you're making your thing, your, all of your hormones worse. But this is typically what most women do. I was also on the pill at the time. Um, so I kept going for many more years before I realized, and it was several years later, I should look this up as to when I met Whitney Jones. It was Whitney Jones that, you know, I was going to, and she's a, a fitness, figure competitor. These are my ketones, by the way, lime flavor. I will link these up below. Um, I, I went to her and I was just getting to this point where you know, and this is what started to happen over the, over the years is I, I would just train harder and harder and harder and I would continually look for harder workouts and, and, and um, harder diets. And I was working out more and more and more. And it wasn't that I was getting fatter necessarily. I kind of just stayed the same size, but I would just get just a little bigger. Like, like my clothes would fit just a little tighter and I would, like, again, I don't want to say I, I was always just hovering around a size 10, maybe almost a 12, you know, I, and maybe I would go through a period where I get down to an eight, like I'd really diet hard and I'd really do a, like a lot of fasting and I'd get down to an eight, but then it would, it would jump back up. And, you know, my current doctor would say, you know, she would just say, um, you know, a diet will, if you go extreme enough, a diet will work for a certain amount of time, but, 
But what happens is, you know, you just haven't fixed the underlying problem. So inevitably your body's gonna fight you back. And that is, when I look back historically, that is what would always happen. I would only get results for a certain amount of time and then my body would fight me back and I would always find, why is this bra tight again? Why do I have fat hanging out? You know, I would never, ever, ever make progress. I was always camouflaging myself. I was never comfortable um, in my clothes. I was always wearing, it's funny because I'm wearing all black right now. This is one of the first times I've actually worn an all black outfit. I don't dress that way, but for years, that's all I wore was all black because I was always camouflaging myself, always wearing big blazers, always wearing things that were covering up my middle. Um, I was just miserable. And finally, Whitney Jones, um, I went to her for a diet plan and she's like, she asked me a lot of intake questions. And when she realized I was on the pill, how long I'd been dieting, how long, um, you know, all of the antibiotics I'd been on in my history, she basically said, I can put you on a training program and give you a diet, but it, it's probably not gonna work. She said, you need to see a doctor. You need to get blood work done. And she pushed me and pushed me and pushed me and pushed me for about six months to get blood work done. And I would not go. And so for a lot of you listening, and I've said this in several other videos, I know where you are. A lot of you will refuse to get blood work. A lot of you will not go see a functional medicine doctor. And a lot of you will do what I see a lot of you doing all the time. You will go on Facebook, you will go on Instagram, you will ask your friends, should I get progesterone cream? Should I get, you know, maca? Should I, you know, should I be doing this? What if I get night sweats? And you're asking all of your friends, medical questions instead of going to a damn doctor and getting medical advice from a medical professional. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Newsflash. Your friends cannot diagnose you. Your friends cannot fix your hormones. I can't fix your hormones. What I can tell you is what I've learned and I wish I could go back to myself in 2007 and tell myself to snap out of it and get blood work done because I would have saved myself a lot of time. If I could tell myself five years ago what I know now about keto and intermittent fasting and exogenous ketones, oh my God. The years that I could have been going on vacation in a bikini, I would have just like enjoyed my life so much more, but I digress. So got my blood work done, got on bio, bioidenticals. But here's the funny thing, you guys, even though I got on bioidenticals, I saw two different male doctors, nothing against necessarily male doctors, but the two doctors that I saw, um, I was not proactive enough with these two doctors. And both of these doctors, um, whenever I would go see them, I was not losing weight. And I would say to them both, why am I not losing weight? Why am I not losing weight? And they would give me answers and I was never satisfied. But you know, here's the thing, and this is my biggest piece of advice to all of you. When you're not satisfied, you need to be much more collaborative with your doctor. I was a different person back then. I was not somebody, I was not the person that I am now who stands up to the doctor. And, and inevitably, in October of last year, I fired my doctor, I hired a new doctor. That's why I have the success that I have now, because I stood up for myself and I decided I deserved better. That's why I'm experiencing the life change that I am now, because I decided this isn't working for me. I'm paying you to create results for me and you're not creating results. I got a better doctor. And the doctor that I have now, Dr. Ruthie Harper, who is based in Austin, Texas, who takes telemedicine appointments, who any of you can hire. She is taking new appointments. She is fantastic. Um, she is amazing. I will link her up below in the comments. Um, she's outstanding. You have to understand when you hire a doctor, they work for you. You deserve the best. So all the time that I was on bioidenticals, um, again, I was training hard, I was dieting, I just couldn't lose weight. So when I tell you guys that for the past 10 years, I was not, I, I was struggling, I was not getting anywhere, I'm not kidding. I was always perpetually the same size. I was scared to get on the scale. I was embarrassed about how I looked. My doctor couldn't seem to figure out, you know, 
in my thyroid. We could, you know, I'd get my blood work done every quarter. It just, and, and I was too passive. I was too passive with my doctor. So long, again, to summarize that chapter, I have to take responsibility for the fact that I was not pushy enough with my doctor. When I finally was, last year, I, I got fed up and I finally decided I've got to make some big changes in my life. I hired a trainer in June of uh, last year. I decided to follow her advice. This was a trainer that I had been following. Her name is Alex Mazurko. I will, I will link her up um, in the comments below. She is a member or part of a team called Level 10 Coaching. They are an excellent group of trainers. They help a lot of people um, come out of what I would call my types of experience, adrenal fatigue, overtraining. Um, Alex herself has been interviewed on my podcast. I will link that up below. I strongly urge you to listen to that if you're somebody like me who has been overtraining, over dieting, never ending dieting. Maybe you think you have adrenal fatigue. Um, listen to that. She was very young and she had adrenal fatigue and she had to basically put on the brakes, heal herself for a year. And, you know, she had gained her body basically fought her back. She gained 25 pounds like overnight and then she gained another 25 pounds. And, you know, that's what happens sometimes when your body has had enough. It just will start to all of a sudden go, I'm, I'm not taking this anymore. And, and, and so you have to understand when your body is not working, whether it's skin bumps or your body just won't lose weight, sometimes we we get so focused on being angry at the problem, we're not able to step back and go, okay, this is our body talking to us. Like when I had those skin bumps, that was my body going, red alert, red alert, red alert, something is wrong. Same thing with weight gain. You know, like in that case of Alex, I just told you, like when her body suddenly abruptly gained 25 pounds. Do you think that was because she went out and ate like 7,000 pizzas and, and just gained that weight overnight? No, she didn't do, she didn't eat food to gain that much weight overnight. When you gain that much weight that quickly, there's something that's wrong with your body. Your body is going, I, I'm in trouble. And that's one of the things that my doctor, Dr. Harper was telling me, she's like, you know, everything, and, Everything that your blood work is telling me is is like your body is in a state of like high alert and and it's 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 trying to protect you so it's not going to let you lose weight right now like for whatever reason we got to figure out why it's in high alert and then she essentially said something and I don't know how she described it but she said she was describing that the mechanisms of the way our body releases fat cells my body had essentially forgotten how to release fat cells and that we were going to, when it was, when it was ready, we, we were going to like train it to re-release re fat cells again. So I had to take some time and continue what I did with Alex. Alex started me on a reverse diet. I had to, for about a year, go into a reverse diet, which is eating slowly but surely, eating more, working out less. You're basically like letting your body rest and recover for a year. That was very hard mentally for me to do, but I did it. Best thing I ever did, okay? And it was smart for my body. Um, then I hired Dr. Harper in October. She started working with me on my blood work, started working on underneath the hood, if you will. Um, I was not allowed to diet until I think about April or May of this year is when she started talking to me about what my diet was going to be. That's when she gave me my macros. That's when I saw that I was going to be doing like keto. She didn't say keto when she gave me my macros, but when I saw the macros and I was like, wait a second, 50 grams of carbs or less and 60 to 70 grams of protein. Wait, what? And honestly, we basically went back and forth a lot because I was kind of like, no way. And, and here's the deal. For all of you listening, I want you to know if for, there's literally something banging on my window. I think it's a sprinkler. 
Um, I have literally been the single most skeptical person on the planet about keto, probably more than any other diet on the planet. I thought it was the biggest fad diet. I thought it was a joke. I thought the only people that go on keto are the people that don't want to work, the people that don't really want to diet, the people that don't want to be healthy. Um, I just said everything bad in the book about keto. Even though I'd had people on my podcast who I consider great friends, people who are highly respected in, in the medical and fitness industry, and, and I think they're highly intelligent beings, but I still was like, I'm not doing keto. Um, I just had such a, a bar up about it. I was like, no way. And so here comes my doctor and she gives me these macros and I'm like, uh, and, and so I gave her a lot of pushback. And so she goes and proceeds and gives me um, a lot of podcasts to listen to, a lot of articles to read. She told me to read the book, The Longevity Diet. Now, The Longevity Diet, whenever I mention that, people take me the wrong way. The Longevity Diet is not a book about keto. The Longevity Diet, she had me read that book because there, there's several reasons that Dr. Harper had me go in this keto direction. So I really don't even think her, her thing was go keto. It was more that she had read all of these different things and come to the conclusion of, well, all of these different things put together mean we want you to have moderate protein, low carb, and a lot of healthy fats. And if, that, if that's what you want to call keto, so be it. Do you see what I'm saying? The longevity diet, she'd done a lot of reading by Walter Longo and, and where that guy is coming from is, and there's a, I, apparently she's done a lot more reading with other medical journals and they're basically, there's a lot more new evidence that is supporting that women in particular as, as they age don't need as much protein and excessive protein for women can actually lead to fat storage. Go figure all of my life, I've been following all of these diets, you know, where I've been aiming for like 150 grams of protein a day. So for me to see her telling me to go to 60, 70 grams of protein a day, to be honest with you, I was like first in shock, but then it was like, wow, this is kind of nice to not have to worry about force feeding myself. I mean, I was just cleaning out my pantry. Do you know how nice it was to not have to worry about like buying so much protein powder? It was nice. Um, I never use protein powder anymore, ever. Now, not worrying about making protein pancakes and you know protein this and that and whatever. Um, so then she sent me a bunch of podcasts and several of them were explaining why um, you know they were talking about prolonged fasting, why that in particular is very good for women with insulin resistance why that is literally like rebooting your computer or rebooting your phone, how that will reset your fat cells. Like if your fat cells are not releasing fat, if you're that woman who has that problem losing fat, when you do prolonged fasting, not intermittent fasting, your intermittent fasting, that's just you know reducing your caloric window. When you do a prolonged fast, where like you really are only drinking. Like when I do a prolonged fast, I have bone broth, ketones, and black coffee. That's it. I don't put, I don't have my keto cream coffee that, that has the fats in it. I don't have, I don't have anything else. I just have liquids. That's, that's like a prolonged fast is like clear liquids. That's it. When you do that, that's really when you're hitting like autophagy and that's when your fat cells will turn over and, and literally like do a reset, like, like of your phone, a, a reset. Hopefully I'm saying this correctly. It's late in the afternoon. Okay. Um, so she sent me all these podcasts. I started to understand. And I, and, and one of the things that Dr. Harper said to me was I kept obsessing about my thyroid. I kept thinking the reason I couldn't lose weight was my hypothyroidism. She's like, it's not about your hypothyroidism. It's about your insulin. And so it's funny because when I decided to finally give this a go, I realized once I dove into keto 
and I, and I started realizing all of the things that I used to eat that I wasn't eating anymore, I started to realize how carb heavy and how sugar heavy, even like natural sugars, fruit sugars, grains, rice, I was drinking kombucha. You know, my morning routine was to have a protein smoothie bowl every freaking morning. I was having an acai protein smoothie bowl every single morning. That's basically like an insulin response every single morning. It doesn't matter how healthy it is for you. It doesn't matter how, how everything was bought at Whole Foods. It was like insulin, insulin, insulin. Like everything that I was eating was an insulin response. And I just started to realize that like, oh my God, like, when you go keto, you are just naturally cutting out everything that creates an insulin response. And so it's like, you can't help but like get rid of insulin resistance. And I'm telling you like very quickly, so quickly after going keto, my appetite changed. And then I will tell you, I've said this in other videos, I won't get into details, but like very quickly, I, I went keto and then very, I. I very quickly after that, I ordered the exogenous ketones because I'd heard so much about that. So I got the exogenous ketones about a week after that. And that was a game changer as far as then really decreasing my appetite, really decreasing my cravings, increasing my energy, all of that. I'll talk about that in a separate video. But people, it changed my, my whole life. And I never... I was so used to nothing working for 10 years that I, I don't, I just, I don't, <laughs> I went into this and I decided to do it and I, 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 I just, I don't even, it's so funny because it happened so fast that I don't even think I had time to process it, but I just remember like within five days. I was noticing a change in my body. My husband was noticing a change in my body. And then very, like, did I experience all those things that people talk about? Keto breath? No. Did I have keto flu? No. Um, did, have I ever felt like I was struggling? No. Have I had out? I, I just don't understand why people act like it's so hard to go keto, to be honest with you. Um, I have, I, I drink on this. I enjoy great foods. I have tremendous diversity in my diet. Um, I do intermittent fasting and, and then I have like two meals a day. This has changed my appetite. It's changed my cravings. I don't binge anymore. I've transformed my body. I've never looked this good. I'm still eight, eight or nine pounds away from my goal weight, but I've, I've, I haven't looked this good in, in 10 years. I haven't looked this good in 20 years. Um, best feeling ever. And if I could tell every woman who is dealing with hormonal weight gain that you should be looking into this and that this is easier than you think. And that the other key thing is, is that I, I have to say this because I am, I do coach women um, on, on uh, keto. I, I'm actually getting certified um, as, a, as a certified keto coach, obviously, because I've become so passionate about this. Um, but I do also want to say as a caveat, like 50% of the battle is you've got to, you've got to see a doctor. You've got to get your hormones addressed. I mean, that's like, I, I have one gal I'm working with and she hasn't had her hormones looked at. And I've had to say to her, like, you know, that's, that's 50% of this. Like if we don't get that addressed, we're going to have a challenge. Like we've got to, we've got to get that addressed. So I encourage everybody like, and I'm going to link that down below too. I've got a great company that offers really reasonable rates on blood work. You've got to get your blood work done. You've got to get yourself to see a really good functional medicine doctor. Of course, I recommend you go see Dr. Ruthie Harper because she can see you by a telemedicine. Um, I absolutely recommend that anybody who has been stuck with weight loss um, look into keto. And here's my, my closing offer for you. I have created a free, for any of you that want to look at it and just kick the tires, it's a keto quick start guide. I'm making it into a really pretty ebook, but for right now, it's kind of just like a Word document. So you get it in its, uh, in its free form. Um, but it really just has all of my 
basically every question that everybody asks me, um, links to all of my favorite products, some of my top five recipes that we make, um, tips, tricks, everything about going keto that you could possibly need to know from me, everything that I've done. Um, it's all there in one document. If you want it, um, just email me. I'll link everything up that you need down below. Um, so click down below in the comments and that's it guys. Just know again, make sure you're subscribed. This is the first of many, uh, videos that I will be doing on these topics of hormones. Make sure you let me know in the comments below as well, what questions you have on hormones, on hypothyroidism, on cortisol, on estrogen dominance, on, uh, you know, weight gain, on seeing a functional medicine doc, whatever it is, what, whatever questions you have, let me know. I am going to also have Dr. Ruthie Harper on the show. Uh, we will be interviewing her here. Um, so let us know what questions you have for her as well. I will see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show. Thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, I hope this video was super helpful. As I mentioned before, there are several other videos, some old, some new on hormones. So make sure that you tune into all of these. And again, let me know what other questions you have.